Hey guys, we're here today at 14 Promontory Ridge. I am here with my friend Javier Mendez from Keller Williams. Javier, thanks for taking us on tour today. No problem. It's a little warm out today, guys. It's only like one, it's cooled down to like 116. Yeah, no, uh, no sunscreen. No overhead. sunscreen well, either. Good. So good. we're going to make this quick outside and then we're going to head inside. But we are in the luxury community of the ridges located in the Summerlin. And we are inside the even the gates, within the gates and Promontory. Yep. And uh, we are 14 Promontory Ridge. This house is just over 12,000 square feet, yep. six bedroom, 10, ten bath. Bathrooms. Yep. Awesome. Man. Don't so forget the basketball court. And there's a basketball court. Don't forget the here. basketball court. So we're going to check course. that out. Pickleball court. Uh, they are doing a little landscaping out back. So we're going to go through the rest of the house before we tour the backyard. And we want to save the best for last. So let's yes. go inside. So, Javier, first of all, I, I know that you mentioned uh, this home was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright, yes. right? As far as yep. the design. Yep. Um, one of the things, first things I want to point out as we come in here is I love this courtyard. So, so serene. And one of the things I always like about this, and I like to mention, is that a lot of people don't realize how windy Vegas is. Uh -huh. And when this gate is closed, it create, it's nice because it creates a nice little barrier. sanctuary in here, yep. barrier from the wind. So yep. let's head in because Javier is already starting to perspire. Yeah. <laughs> and as we come in, uh, you guys will notice, I really love the elegance of the home. Really nice, light colors. Did they recently remodel this? Or they anything? did. They remodeled the kitchen. They remodeled a lot of the countertops. They remodeled the flooring. New, newer paint, um, and even the basketball court has been uh, new, uh, new lighting in that basketball court as well, so make it brighter. Awesome. And it actually has nice natural lighting as well, so it's really cool. Okay, great. And we're currently listed at what, 9.8? 9.9.8. 998. Appraisal came in at 10.5. That's awesome. Yeah, so All we right. are lower than, t than the appraisal. So somebody gets to walk in with equity. Somebody gets to walk in with equity. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. And this yes. price range, that's, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, right? So why don't we do this? Let's, um, let's start, let's go upstairs first. Okay. That way we can get away from the noise in the back. Okay. So let's Perfect. head up that way first. I love the colors and stuff so they did in here. So you got the mid floor, right? So we got the mid floor, which is the master suite or the primary seat, should we call it? This is the primary This here? is the primary okay. seat, yeah. So it has its little retreat area, which is really, really cool. What I love about this is the views. Yeah. The views, I mean, the setting of this house is phenomenal. So you might want to scan in and check out just that and out this This little balcony well. area here. Yes. And this leads out to the pool. So this we'll go out and we'll out, check yep. that out in a little bit when they're done blowing it off out there. Yeah, it's a little more quiet right now, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's nice, man. So this window right here, check it out. It's just amazing. The setting of this house is And this just is one the of the best. great things with the ridges, and I, I always like to point out, I think one of the main reasons people buy up here um, for the most part, a lot of locals, but obviously we're getting a lot of out-of-staters as well, but the incredible mountain views out, out back here yes. are just beautiful, and especially what you pick up here in the um, in, in the primary bedroom. And then I love what they did here with the black wall on the yeah. back. Yep. So I'll Don't forget it overlooks there. the golf course too, right? So we got that too. Yeah. Right? Golf course. So we got great amazing. golf course views. Yeah. All so right, we're going to be walking into Saks Fifth Avenue real soon here. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Which oh, wow. Hey, hey. Right, the automatic toilets. Yes. <laughs> the, toilet just, <laughs> the toilet just said hi. <laughs> you know what, Aaron? Aaron knows this about me. I, I hate shots of toilets. But today we're going to get this one because <laughs> this one is fully automated. And it's um, great. It talks to you. It'll make phone this calls for you. It's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I think it is. Actually, actually it does have Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah. So Aaron, um, this if you one, walk into this one, it'll refresh ready? you. Ready? Go. It'll open. Oh. And it sprays. You know, in the middle Wait, of the night. Do I think there's something in it. <laughs> middle of the night, you've this had too many here. drinks. You don't want to forget to lift the toilet seat. And so you want to make sure that uh, the toilet seat automatically lifts up for you. And uh, so that's a great feature. I think it has music and everything as well. We've got this it great walk-in shower as well. It looks like it's just been recently renovated. Um, really nice job on this primary bathroom. thing I want to point out too, this is always important is you've got your two separate sink areas, right? So nobody's mm -hmm. fighting for sink space. Yep. Vanity area, yep. nice standalone tub. Um, I love all the additional space they have over there for storage. And they have, yeah, exactly. And it's got a lock on it too. So awesome. they, they carried all their storage in here and all that. So you've got some additional space there yep. for towels and all that. All right, all we're right. ready to walk into Nordstrom, Saks Fifth, however you <laughs> want to call let's it. Let's go, man. So this closet, two-tier wow. closet, which is amazing. Um, who knows what to call what, either Holy hers, crap. him's, hers, hers, whatever you want it's to call his, it, yeah. it's yeah. huge. Comes wow. down here, and on the end of this, which is really part of the Watch whole, your step coming down, Aaron. Yeah, for sure. She's got it, she's got it, she's doing it. Look at her go. Watch your step, babe. <laughs> the massage room at the end of the closet, which is just, wow. which is amazing. So oh, obviously, wow. you know, they gotta, they gotta have their massages once a week. Yeah. We're this taking care really of this cool. large of a home. 
Now, there's no way that you could have had anybody complain about the closet size in this house. No. You? Okay. Ever. <laughs> ever. No. We are, I mean, I don't, I don't think the owner of Saks would complain about this one. Yeah, so there you go. I know. So. You, need, you almost need your own person in here just to get, get your shoes. Hey, let's do that. Yeah. It's a great African idea, man. <laughs> Hire a person to get my shoes. Hey, can you go get my shoes? I love it. Let's my do closet it. concierge. Yeah. <laughs> There's a new concierge service. Closet yeah. concierge. Again, another little linen closet over here too. Which is nice. it. Oh, it's got the instructions for the, for the toilets. All right. Now and we're going to go all uh, the upstairs. Wood, wood flooring all throughout here. This is nice. Yep. yep. It's got a lot of upgrades. I mean, it's got its own little bar area right here. Wet bar. I love it. Doesn't it feel like you're walking on a cloud with this carpet? Yeah, great, great uh, padding in the flooring. Dude, I, I love this area right here too, just this open space here. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah. And it looks like something I want to point out, and I'm a, people know this, some people know this, I'm a window freak. A lot of people don't pay attention to the windows, but it looks like you got high-end Pella windows yes. in here, which if people don't know, back in the day when I was younger, and I've done a lot of different sales, but I sold windows, <laughs> and so, I did a lot of the custom homes up here, and what a lot of people don't understand is like a regular aluminum window package on a custom home could be, you know, 100 grand, but a Pella window package on a custom home. With the casing. With the casing could yep. be a half million to a million dollars in just windows. Yep. So that's good to understand when you're purchasing a home like this because that adds a ton of value to this home, especially just because of the efficiency of the windows as well. So perfect. And when your home is over 13, you know, 12,000 square feet, efficiency is important. Yeah, oh, definitely. Every one of the bedrooms, the secondary bedrooms, are en suites. Awesome. So you will have the primary, or you'll have the bedroom, you'll have their walk-in closet, and then you'll actually, Aaron, if you want to walk over there, you can. Um, you can open up the closet too. All of them are walk-in closets. And, and it looks like each room has its own balcony and stuff as well. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Very cool. Yep. All right. Let's keep this moving. Now we're going to break a sweat just from walking this house. <laughs> I'm going to burn off all those Dude, donuts. I already have. I had to turn on all the lights. I know. I was going to say, I just burned off all those donuts and lemonade I had this morning. So this is so. for you and I to hang our coats. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a little vertically challenged. So that's yep. why I try not to play basketball downstairs. So there you go. Uh, Again, another ensuite. Um, it's got walk-in closets. It's got your, your full baths as well. This is great, man. And you know, one thing I like about Promontory is it's like being one of the uh, more mature neighborhoods yes. in the ridges is that you have a lot more maturity with the trees and that type of stuff. And I think especially clients coming from like Orange County and really green areas, that's such an important factor is having all the um, landscape mature and all that stuff around the home. So it doesn't feel like Vegas, does it? No, no. Nope. And especially other for the clients because like a lot of the newer homes that you're going to see here in the ridges are going to be much more modern. And yeah. this house, the one thing I like about it is it has a modern feel to it, but still traditional. And yet you still have thunder and lightning that really attracts this house because you have natural <laughs> this lighting. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I feel like I'm in Montana. Again. Right. <laughs> we, just, we just got back from Yellowstone and, and I love this. Man. It is. It's and then what do you, you've got a whole um, balcony area out here balcony, that's all grass. Yeah. So you let the dogs hang out there and chill. And then of course you're overlooking the golf course and you've got the incredible mountain views. Yeah. And then we go mountain biking it? up in those mountains. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. It's so much fun. And then what does this take us into? This takes us into the Man, movie a lot of theater. Little, a lot of little hidden spots in here. Right? At, into the movie theater. Now, this movie theater was not here when it was originally built. Okay. They actually put this movie theater in afterwards. And I, I like that it's not the traditional movie seats. Like, you can really chill in here and lounge. Uh -huh. and, yeah, yeah. This is awesome, man. Yeah. Very cool. And I'm assuming built-in speaker systems over built here. Built-in speaker. All soundproof and everything. All entertainment systems right there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. Aaron, watch your step coming down. Yeah, we don't want you falling there, girl. So there's two other bedrooms, separate laundry room upstairs and downstairs. Okay. It's down this hall, so I'll follow you. Let's come on down. So you've got store, additional storage, storage space. Right here. Yep, storage. Huge storage over there. That one's a laundry room up here. Laundry room is right here. Okay. And then this storage room for these two rooms could be for games, could be for clothes, could be for anything. I mean, it's oh it's wow, a, yeah, it's a huge storage room, and that's so important. Turn on the light, dude. It amazes me how many of these homes I tour that really lack they, storage, and that's oh, always that's a big complaint from clients. Yep. Is man, this house hardly has any storage. So yep. You've got plenty here. Another ensuite. This one also has the balcony. That could be your off-season closet. Right. <laughs> 
Nice. And I like the colors and everything they used in here. It still makes the home feel nice and warm, even though it's the lighter colors. Yeah, so, it is. It's, yeah. And that's why the, the buyers originally bought this because they were looking at so many of the newer homes, which was a cold feeling to her. Got it. Yeah. She didn't like that. So what she wanted, she's like, I want more of a homey feeling. Yeah. I want it to feel like a family home. Yeah. Because yeah. they have four kids. And so she walks in. She's like, this is it. Yeah. And I didn't even have to show them the rest of the house, which is really, which was really cool. I had to show him the rest of the house, not her, <laughs> right? So she was done. She's like, I'm done. Yeah. She's like, I'm this, sold. Is, this is the warm feeling of this house. So that's awesome. Yeah. Man. It was pretty awesome. And it's um, always good to know like what attracts a buyer to a home. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, other than the fact that it had, it's, you know, it's in promontory mm -hmm. and it's behind a guard gate within a gate. Yep. So if anybody wants to play oh, a little bit of cool. golf. They included the little golf course as well. I love it, man. Um, My dogs could totally be chilling out here. Yep. Yeah. So I know we said your name a couple times, Aaron, but do you want to head up to the top deck? You sure you're good with? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go to the top deck. Let's go get some views. You got to, You got some sunscreen? No? We're good? No, we're going to be closer <laughs> to the sun. <laughs> Looks like it's a full security system all around the home as well. Yep. Cameras. Yep. Not a huge deck, but right, it I can, has I tell you, I, I, I have a feeling we're going to make this shot quick. <laughs> <laughs> you have a black shirt on, bro. I got white. I'm kind of I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but look at this oh, view. This is cool. You got some great views. Oh, Dude, especially, man. I mean, that is an incredible view of the mountain. I can totally imagine, like, being up here in the morning, drinking some coffee, reading a book. Yep. You know, hanging out. Yeah. Up here at night, having some drinks, finish off the day. And the cool thing is, too, a lot of people don't, like... That's the sun in the morning when it's hit coming up from the east. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's hitting these mountains is absolutely beautiful. So and don't forget, this is on the master bedroom side. Yeah. So you go out right from your master bedroom, go up these steps, and you're there. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right. We'll go down now since uh, I'd bring another I got hot my... tub up here. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> right. But during the fall. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good idea, actually. Whew. All righty. And again, Aaron, you catching up? I think Javier had a lot of caffeine today. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I walked fast. <laughs> and the funny thing, I don't drink coffee. Um, <laughs> Thank God. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave this open. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. And so, um, Again, this balcony is off of this bedroom, another balcony off the other bedrooms. They all have their own individuals, uh, balconies. All right. Let's all right. head down. Second set of stairs going downstairs to the kitchen. <clears throat> Heads to the laundry room. You have your half bath as well. Okay. So that's for guests. And how many, how many car okay. garage? That's one thing I didn't ask you about. So it's actually weird. I think it's a five car. The appraiser said, no, it's more like a four and a half. Okay. So you could fit actually two or a little Fiat, two golf carts or a little Fiat in the, on the Got other it. side of okay. there. So we'll take a look at it. Butler area right here. And it's, I'm assuming it's probably tall enough you could put uh, oh, a totally. lift in there. Oh yeah, no, it's yeah. got its own little uh, shelves and everything. Somebody can work in it. It could be a study as well. And then of course you have the kitchen. With I like, I like what they read here with the kitchen. Sub-zero refrigerator and freezer. Yep. Of course, but, you got your wine, your wine chiller here. Oh, two refrigerators, right? Nice. So you got one right here and one right here. Um, so a question for you. Do you want to go into the garage, check it out, or you want to go outside? Let's check out the garage real quick. Let's do it. All right. Four and a half car garage, as what we have to say. Everybody always likes to see the garage. <laughs> <laughs> With a huge storage area, too. So turn on the lights. Where are my lights here? And is this a little storage space off the side here, I'm assuming? Yes, it's off. Should we just it, open it, the door I, maybe I for some yeah, light? No. There we go. No, it's, there we yeah, go. we can do that. We'll get a little light here. Um, and so... So tons of space. Huge great storage, storage area, area right here. Yeah. This, <laughs> it's its own little area plus... Oh, this is cool. Yeah, yeah. No, this is nice. This is always important. Oh, especially for extra storage and stuff? Yeah. Don't forget the Tesla charger right there. You got to point that out. Got to have the Tesla charger. Got to have and the, the Tesla nice thing charger. Is that as we walk out here that I, I want to point out is that 
I mean, you've got enough room in your driveway as well. You could probably put another three or four cars easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that during the event. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, there's your lights. So this right Holy here shit. has its own cooled, and it could be a little Fiat or two golf carts. Yeah, could you definitely um, put your golf it carts in here. Own little office area and its sink. Yeah, I like it. Yep. All right, let's head inside. Well, it's nice and cool. <laughs> well, we're gonna go back outside now. Yeah. Aaron, you good? Yep. Okay. Right on. Okay. Oh, wrong one. You're okay. Gonna learn these garages today. Woo! So the setting of this house, the views of this house is where it's at. So hopefully now we can finally go in the backyard where hopefully he's done blowing. You got this <laughs> nice little prep area here that leads into the dining room. So you have your pool, and then what they have done in the upgrades on this is they've done all new pool equipment. Okay. Um, and then they've glassed it in. They have kids, they wanted to make sure they couldn't walk in, so they actually did that without in losing the integrity of the view. I like that. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of times when you put the screen there, it just kind of loses the whole feeling oh, of it. Doesn't and then look you good. and then you lose all the views, and so that's that's done really nicely. I think Darren's sweating now, actually. Look yeah, at I am, dude. <laughs> Separate jacuzzi. And then what a lot of people don't notice about this lot is the extra land that goes into the golf course that was purchased. Now, Javier, is this a half acre or is it larger? It's larger. It's a little bit larger than a half acre. Okay. So you got tons of green space back here. And then you could do whatever you want down here. So she actually had, the owner had a garden right over there. Okay. Which was really nice. And, uh, and then they took it with him. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Oh, great. You know, that's the one thing too. A lot, of, a lot of people are always surprised when they come here and they tour a lot of these homes because they walk in the backyard mm -hmm. and there's, there's, no, there's no space back there. No. But that's the nice thing with this lot, the way it's positioned right over the golf course. And the nice thing is, too, to mention is that, you know, a lot of people are concerned with being on the golf course because of privacy. Yep. This home still offers so much privacy because the way that it's situated up yep. high on the lot. Yep. And then, you, of course, if you've got all the landscaping and everything in front of it, um, which really helps create a lot of privacy for the house. So, And you've got two other balconies over there. You still have a side lot that still has a little bit of land over there. And then you have the outdoor kitchen and the fire pit. This is cool. Um, let's, let's just take a walk over there if you guys want to. Yeah. Aaron's like, I'm getting hot, so we'll make it quick, Aaron. I promise you. Watch your step. I've lost three pounds on this tour. <laughs> we had a lot of donuts this morning. <laughs> yeah. We did a little donut event, raised some money. Right? Oh, shoot. You invited me to that. Yeah. Yeah, what happened? Man? I, okay. Oh, shit. Totally forgot. Um, okay. And then the outdoor kitchen. So, fire pit, you got it, Aaron? Good. Because <laughs> I'm going to go in the shade right now. Yep. <laughs> Outdoor kitchen, great size pool. Kitchen. And this is obviously, you know, the thing to point out too, I'm finding, Javier, a lot of people are buying homes. This was built in 2010, right? Yeah. And so I find a lot of people are liking these homes because obviously, you know, some people know this, some people don't, but with the new restriction on pool size in Las Vegas, uh -huh. only being 600 square feet, yep. I'm finding a lot of clients are gravitating to the older homes so they can get that larger pool. Agreed. So yep. I, I think that's a great thing to point out with this house as well. I mean, that pool right now, um, it looks... It looks really good. It does. <laughs> yeah. I want to right? jump in. Amen. All right, let's head inside. Or are we going to go check out the uh, basketball let's court? Let's do it, man. Um, again, I'm vertically challenged. I suck at basketball. Yep. We're we not found out on my previous video, but yes. Let's we're go we're check not going to try to demonstrate that today. <laughs> we definitely are not. <laughs> and I like this house. You know, one thing I'm starting to see come back in homes is traditional dining rooms. That went, right? away, that went away for a while. Um, but again, you know, it's another one of those things. I, I see these interesting things that have happened since COVID uh -huh. where things that were going away in homes are now starting to come back yeah. in homes. And that's one of the things I'm, I'm beginning to see again is dining rooms because people were back eating at the table, right? Yep. They were hanging out in the house all day long. Agree. So. Family's coming together. Finally. Yep. All right, let's head downstairs. Let's check this out. So we have an obs observation deck that looks overlooks the basketball court. Okay. Slash, it could be a pickleball court too because it does have the dimensions oh, for nice. a pickleball court. So That's Aaron, if you wanna out. take a look over here. Now, now you got me sweating, dude. <laughs> this is cool. And yeah. Is that our basketball hoop over there, the one hanging? Right, right. <laughs> I was wondering if there's a way to lower it, you know? So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I could slam on that. Uh, Remember back in the day, did you go to, did you go to school out here? Yeah, yeah elementary. Bonanza. Okay, so no, elementary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, the slam ball courts, remember? Yeah. I could slam on that even. It was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Made us feel really good. Oh, dude, man. I was like, oh. I would yell afterwards. I was thinking I was, you know, 
you know, I, didn't even, back I didn't then. even try to attempt playing basketball, Javier, because right. I, I knew there was never a shot. So. Right. <laughs> right. Why even go down there? Oh, man, I like this. Full gym, baby. Yeah. So we got a full gym. You can do anything you want at this gym. And then we still have the, of course, the basketball court. Yep. And see, that's, that's why, I mean, for me, I would expand my gym out into this basketball <laughs> court. And this have would the be best a, looking gym around. Oh, I would have the best oh, gym yeah. down here, man. I mean, you, you could uh, turn you out could what, could really... you, what you could do is probably, and I don't know how you would do it, but you can make more room over here too, because this is, this is a storage room. Oh, okay. So you could actually put some, probably some more equipment. Mm, no, you can't. That'd be my stream room. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can, and I like they even have the water fountain in here. I mean, that's they awesome. Have the, yeah, they have everything. They have TV, they have the water fountain, and they've got the, um, what's it called, the tonal. The mirror. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she can tell you what to do, how to do it, and all that good stuff. That's awesome. You can compete against everybody else. Um, it also has stereo in here, too. What is it? Oh, stereo? Yep, stereo. So right there, the two speakers. Dude, this is great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like I said, it was the family home. Yeah. Definitely the vibe. Little dog run going out to the side of the yard, so you're separate from the backyard. Is there really a, cool. a refreshment station anyway, like along the halfway? Right. <laughs> We're not in the summit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we can stop, have a drink, right. maybe, maybe some lunch, and then oh. finish the rest of the tour of this house? We can sit here <laughs> if you like. I mean, I'm good with this. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, this is nice. There you go, right at the entrance of the house. Oh. All right, guys. That's it for today. We're going to rest here for a little bit. If you have questions, <laughs> take a breather. <laughs> if you have questions, please feel free to give me a call. Uh, we'll make sure we get you up here. Javier can give us a tour. Make sure you bring your running shoes because Javier moves quick. <laughs> and uh, so we want to make sure that you're, you're ready to go. But uh, anyway, come check out this great home located here in the Ridges in Promontory. And it is 14 Promontory Ridge. We'll talk to you soon. Great to do one with you, brother. Yeah, thanks, man.